Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is it that your special person thinks about when they think about you and when they hear your name, okay? So what comes to mind when they think about thoughts of you or even when they hear just the mere mention of your name? This is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So once again, this reading here is intended for all air signs. So that's Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. The Eight of Cups. Wow, okay. The Five of Wands, Death. The Three of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Okay, now you and your person, I feel like have, there's a lot of emotional depth to this connection. So you and your person, I feel like, are very emotionally invested in one another. Even if it's just early days, you feel that this is something truly special. Okay, you feel like... This is someone, this is your potentially forever person. Someone who's your best friend, someone who's your soul partner, someone whom you have a soul contract with. Strong water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is coming through. So maybe you are connected with someone with the water energy. Or either they or yourself may have water in their charts. Otherwise, it may just signal to us that there is a very strong emotional connection here, emotional bond here. Now, what do they think when, what do they think? about when they think of you well there's a lot of conflict in their energies first and foremost some of you with the death card you may be in a, a separation of some sort maybe the two of you are necessarily talking or maybe you're not with the five of wands not on the best terms right now there may be some sort of conflict in your energies so a disagreement a turbulency a bit of a tumultuous situation that you find yourself involved in some of you maybe this is someone whom you walked away from or this is someone who is pulling themselves away from you, okay? There's definitely some sort of loss, sadness, a conflict, some sort of separation here. Um, for you, for some of you watching or listening, it's the end, but not really, okay? It's the end, but it's not really the end. It's the end, but it's only temporary. It's not permanent kind of thing, okay? What does this person think when they think of you? They have very strong feelings for you, but I feel like they're having a hard time figuring out those emotions okay maybe because they're really overwhelmed maybe because the emotionally the emotional intensity of this connection is really extreme is something that they're not really familiar with maybe these feelings that they have for you they've never really felt for anyone else yet i also see that there is um someone here okay whether it's yourself or your special person someone here either has a very strong attachment style or someone here has unfortunately and so, um, sadly experienced a lot of loss and abandonment in their life so this person feels very hard even if they had to walk away from you this person feels that it's very hard to do that to you not only does it you know tear them apart but they also know that the pain that they may be causing you and that's really hard for them to handle here um, but right now I f there's something here that they feel like is missing in the connection they feel like it's really great, but there's something here that's missing. And they're having a hard time figuring out what it is. So there's a bit of confusion in their energies here as well. With the Five of Wands, there's a bit of a disruption here, okay? A bit of a disruption here in the connection. There is something here that I feel like is causing the two of you to be standing on shaky ground. So either they feel like the two of you disagree a lot, you don't always see eye to eye. Either there's a conflict like within your individual energies here, um, either the two of you like are in different wavelengths or even like uh, you know vibrational frequencies when it comes to this connection there's something here that I feel like your person here is sort of struggling to make peace with and they feel like the two of you don't necessarily like your communication here with one another most certainly could improve because they feel like the two of you don't necessarily communicate very well either there's a lot of misunderstandings or a lot of confusions or like you guys just have two very different communication styles and then you guys just clash maybe it's a clash of the egos maybe you guys just butt heads maybe you guys don't see eye to eye it happens right at the end of the day you guys are only human but it's not what happens it's how you deal to what 
how you respond, how you deal with what happens that matters, right? How do they, what do they think when they think of you? I mean, they have some very strong feelings for you. They definitely feel like you're the one that they potentially could end up with, okay? They see you as a best friend, as a soulmate. They see you as someone whom they believe you were purposely put onto their, like, into, onto their path for a reason, okay? They, like, not only are you a partner, not only are you a lover here, but you're also a friend. You're also a listening ear. You're a great emotional support. They feel like either the two of you, they feel like the two of you might have um, begun things out on a very novelesque, on a very romantic kind of note, okay? Um, especially at the start of the connection. Maybe a part of them also feels like they were romanticizing either yourself or they do have a tendency to romanticize you or romanticize the connection. They do put you up on a pedestal. They do sort of, um, they, they hold you in very high regard. But I also feel like a part of them, I wonder if they sort of romanticizing the connection or romanticizing you a little bit too much or vice versa here. Um, they definitely want to, I feel like either the two of you have done some exploring or they definitely see you, like the two of you doing a lot of traveling, exploring here, embarking on a journey here, whether it's a spiritual journey, whether it's a journey of, you know, coming together here in union, in partnership. I mean, this is someone who I feel like the thing with them is they have, although they have some very strong feelings um, about and some very strong intentions for the connection, I'm also seeing that there's a lot of confusion that's adding to their feelings here because of whatever it is that's going on with the energy with the energies here. Travel or distance also comes into play. Some of you are doing long distance, and I feel like this is what they're struggling with, and maybe that's where the conflict is. Um, maybe some of you live like a bit far from each other, like too far and maybe that poses a problem um, but right now they feel as though at this particular point in time notice how both these figures have our backs to us I feel like maybe this person has turned their back on you or you have turned their back on them someone here or maybe the both of you have turned their back on each other and I feel like there's a sadness and there's a loss there's a bit of a like a grievance to this energy here I feel like they're sort of you or they are trying to seek closure but they don't really want to because in the in, at the end of the day even though this may have ended on some level or you guys are at a separation or distance from one another deep down inside this person wants so much more than what the two of you have right now okay they want a union with you they want a reconciliation they want to be you know your best friend and your lover they want to be your everything here and they want the same from you notice how this card is perfectly it just perfectly mirrors these two uh, beings perfectly mirror each other. I feel like what's really intense about this connection is that that's exactly how I would describe the two of you. And this is why it's so intense because the two of you are so similar in many ways. It's like this person is, you know, holds up a mirror, okay? They hold up a mirror and they reflect to you all the positive and maybe not so positive traits. And that can be really overwhelming. That can be really intense, which is why I feel like this connection is such a journey. Could also be a twin flame journey, guys, because it's so intense. And I feel like there's so much spiritual growth to come from this. And even if you don't end up together here um, in the long run, I do feel like you'll walk away with some, you'll walk away having made, sorry, made a truly amazing connection and some wonderful memories here. But for others, I feel like this is destined this is destined to go the long haul. This is destined to go the distance, despite your distance here. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, reach out. Otherwise, guys, bye for now.